today we are going to discuss about maximum power transfer theorem so here the below one shows the circuit diagram for verification of maximum power transfer theorem so in this maximum power transfer theorem we are going to keep the voltage as 10 volts and by varying this load resistance value we are going to note down this current readings okay now i'm going to give you the connection for this diagram now here first i'm going to connect this 1 kilo ohm resistance on the breadboard now this is my 1 kilo ohm resistance place this anywhere on the breadboard now here 1 kilo ohm second end is connected to the 1.5 first end now let's take 1.5 this is my 1.5 kilo ohm resistance now connect here vertically on the same place thereafter second end you can place anywhere on the breadboard and take this 1 kilo ohm resistance now this is connected 1 kilo first second end as well as 1.5 first end that means where where is this point on the breadboard now this is the point on the breadboard now connect vertically on the same place this 1 kilo ohm resistance and second end you can place anywhere on the breadboard okay now here these three resistors are connected like this okay now we are going to take a ammeter ammeter positive is connected to the 1.5 second end now this is my 1.5 second end now take ammeter positive this is my ammeter positive now this is connected 1.5 second end 1.5 second end it is connected thereafter you can connect ammeter negative ammeter negative anywhere on the breadboard anywhere on the breadboard now here here ammeter negative is connected to load resistance but here we are not supposed to connect ammeter negative directly to the load resistance we need to connect via this breadboard okay now i am going to take one more wire to connect from this to drb box now for this load i am taking the drb box now drb box positive this is called drb box drb box positive is connected to the ammeter negative okay this is my ammeter negative connected to drb okay <coughs> now thereafter if you observe here drb box negative is connected to see here drb box negative is connected to the 1 kilo second end now here this is my 1 kilo now take this drb negative to this 1 kilo second end vertically on the same place okay now all these connections are completed now we need to connect this rps okay now rps positive is connected to the r1 first end now where is r1 here this is my r1 now take rps positive this is my here this is my rps positive now connect this one to the 1 kilo first end it is connected okay now connect rps negative see here i am giving the rps negative connection Now here the RPS negative is connected to the this 1 kilo second end. Now where is this 1 kilo second end? Here this is my 1 kilo second end. Now connect this RPS negative to this 1 kilo second end. Okay. Now the connection is completed for this maximum power transfer theorem. Now I am going to switch on the supply for the verification. <coughs> now for this I am going to apply different ranges of this. DRP box. Now I want to apply first 200, thereafter 400, 600, 800. By varying 2 to 100, we need to vary this voltage up to 4 kilo ohms. That means 4000 ohms. Okay, first I'm applying 200 ohms. 1, 2. Now it is 2 into 100, it will become 200. When you apply the 200, okay, you need to measure this current value. Before this, before applying this, like this, we need to apply 200 to 4000. Now before apply this DRB resistance, we need to apply the supply voltage to the 10 volts. Okay, you can apply 15, 20, 25, that is up to you. But for demo purpose, I am applying this voltage to the 10 volts. Now here I am applying this to the 10 volts. Now here 10 volts is applied. Now we need to apply this 200 ohms. 1, 2. When you apply 200 ohms, it is 2.23. Thereafter, apply 400. Okay, similarly, apply 600. Like this, we need to vary up to 4000. Okay, this is for uh, up to 600. I want to apply 1000. How to apply 1000? Now, here, 
for that you need to place this 100 not to 0 now there is a 1 kilo here okay place this to 1 it will become 1 into 1k that means 1000 ohms if i want to apply 1200 now here it is already 1000 is applied now plus 1 2 200 plus 1000 it is 1200 if you want 1400 apply this 100 to 4 already 200 is applied 3 4 it is 1400 now now if you want 1600 plus 200 it will become 1600 okay now if i want to apply 2000 simply place this to 0 now place this one 1 kilo to the 2 position 1 2 now 2 into 1000 it will become 2000 like this we need to vary up to 4000 that means 3 4 like this up to 4000 we need to apply and we need to measure this current okay and all these values we need to know table it all these values in this table column now see the table column here this is my table column see practically we are going to vary this load resistance to the 0.2 ohms that means 200 400 600 800, up to 4000 we need to vary and respect to current values whatever we measured in the ammeter we need to note down here thereafter we can calculate the power that is i square into respect to resistance i square into respect to resistance we need to note down the power okay like this we can calculate all the powers okay now wherever you got the maximum power if you got the maximum power of this 10th position then that is called the load resistance unknown resistance value where you got the maximum power respect to resistance is called your unknown resistance value okay why because in the case of maximum power transfer theorem whenever the source resistance is equal to the load resistance then only maximum power transfer that means this is the source resistance this is the load resistance this is power whenever these two are equal then you are going to get the maximum value okay hence the this is the maximum power transfer theorem verification okay thank you